Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Founder's Fortune. This is episode number 15. It's mid-fall, so winter is not that far away, but I'm not too worried about it. We still have plenty of food growing. We have a good amount of food right now. We have seven mouths to feed, which is definitely not a small amount, but, you know, it's it's not that bad. Uh, it's not that bad, really. So, at this point, the figuring out what to do is kind of one of the big things where to go what to do i mean last time we really missed out on something huge we lost a scroll and that bothered me that bothered me a lot because those scrolls are so expensive and looks like a lot of our advanced research is going to have to happen once we are seriously locked down and can handle a fight I think this winter I want to work a lot more on training up, but we have all this space now, so we're going to start shifting things around, uh, building up our workspaces quite a bit. The the kind of the what to do next uh, position that we're in is definitely something haven't quite sorted out. We've got that bedroom situation. We've got our next couple set ready to go. And there's a lot of, you know, good things happening. We don't necessarily need to make everyone's expectations right now, but I, th I would kind of like to get to that point where at least some of the characters were able to deal with whatever, you know, like having a limp, things of that nature, and really starting to get into that. Anna has grown old here recently, but she's got 31 days before she'll pass. Sandra still has 57. Dang, she's living to a ripe old age, Sandra. She just turned two, but she's, uh, she's got much longer. Uh, Ute? will get old in 37 days, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Bridget, he's okay. still quite young. Michael, 16 days left. That's all we have for Michael, just 16 days, so... Uh, mm -hmm. That's gonna kinda hurt things, as... It's gonna lower what level they're on, though, so we'll replace Michael pretty quick. But 16 days is still a year in this game. Christine, 50 days till she gets old. And Veronica, 86. Nice and young. So, uh, Michael, the only one who's going to be gone anytime soon. And again, I think with seven, we're in pretty good shape. So, what I'd like to do now is I'm going to do a quick kind of rundown of where we're at on jobs and who and what. Uh, we can do with any of this. Um, Veronica can mine iron. That's good. Um, I should probably add some other skills, but we'll we'll get there eventually. Christine, level six forester already. Craftsman has gone nowhere. Forging, making bows, tailoring, master outfits. She's 14 points. <laughs> We're going to have to train that, I think. Michael Roth. Level 5 Miner. It's another one where kind of just stuck. But Bridget, almost. Bridget's almost maxed out. So I'm really excited by that. Uh, sewing Wheat's the next thing. She's already a level 4 Scholar. So Bridget's done really well and then we're at Ute main profession obviously is as a doctor medical potions would be nice we have one skill point available so we will get you uh, to doing some training why don't you hand this over the Warriors of the North, and then go train yourself, Ute, Ute. Yeah. 
Yes, learn about medicine. Let's get you some more levels, huh? Especially since we're not doing any research right now. Michael, you have plenty of stamina. Why don't you get out here and first gather some cotton and then go get some stone. Actually, we could do it this way. We'll add to your assignment list. There you go. Alright, hobble along. Get out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, back on this list we have Sandra, level 6 scholar, level 4 farmer. Maybe this winter we'll have her train up on that. Oh, why did I close that? And finally, Anna, level 9 forester. Very nice. Five skill points available. Has stone tools unlocked, really. Well, that'll take care of that. We don't have metal tools to make. I don't have the outfits. So I'm going to save your four points for other things, Anna. And what can we do for you, Anna yep. Beck? You have a limp. We could probably take care of that. Oh, that's job points. I only have one point here. So that limp is not going away right now. So with so many points, what to do? Well, we could take care of the outfit and the metal tools because it is your main job. And then start working on something else in the short term. Already a level one soldier, Anna is. She's cutting down whatever wood is left out there. If we can tell her once again to uh, take care of things. See what happens with the cotton as she makes an effort. Veronica's gathering iron. Christine, what else could I have you do right now besides this? Love to get rid of that pessimist issue you have. Two skill points available. Get you working on the apple trees and the cotton. on the trees. Bridget's mm -hmm. just lying around. Pessimistic. Gotta love it. Three points. Well, let's take care of that sowing wheat. It's the only place we can use it. Michael, Michael, Michael. Mm -hmm. There you go. You're coming back on your own. That's good. Alright. Closing in one day away from winter now. when we get to winter that we'll start worrying about rearranging these things. Nice to get just a little bit of cotton before 
we get to winter, but it's okay. It's okay. It'll be ready for next fall. Uh, next spring, that is. Ah, oh, come on. Really? Pause, pause, pause. Anna, go help. Michael, what are you going to do? You're going to mine stone, so no, you're not going to come help. <laughs> Let's keep you up on that. Sandra, though, is going to come. And we have Bridget. Okay, that's three of them. Damn, that's going to be almost half of our food, though. I was not worried about our food for winter, but I'm a little worried about it now. We just lost probably a dozen potatoes. Apparently there's no care we can do with these guys. Hey, okay, made it to level 6, Doctor. Yeah. Come with a skill point. You have two medical potions. So wait, all that's left is the master outfit. And okay, Michael, make sure you're not starving. Yeah, you're doing okay. A lot of them are not using their tools or don't have tools. Definitely something uh, need to address this winter. Some of that is definitely a glitch in the matrix as there are tools and they're assigned to those tools and there's their tools but we can't actually give it to anyone. Pickaxe, like Michael. He is assigned one. He has one. He doesn't use it. And if I unassign it, it goes away. They're locked into dead characters, which is ridiculous. Why wouldn't you reuse a tool just because somebody else used it before you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not waste food again. Uh, we're going to get yeah. Sandra out here. Harvest. Yeah. Bridget. Harvest. Get your rest later. Sandra alone. Bridget showing up late to the party. She's gonna get just the last one. <laughs> she did. Made it time though. Alright, so we're gonna slow things back down a little bit. Let's mm -hmm. make sure Michael's probably out here. No? Okay, Michael's back. Chilling. Eating. Sandra, are you a soldier? You are. What about Anna? Or who's Bridget? Bridget? Bridget's gonna start training. Sandra can handle the cooking. Shelf upstairs. No, I thought I had two shelves. Apparently not. Storage shelf for scrolls. Research scroll stand. Winter. Definitely need to figure out what projects I want to get going. Upgrading our defenses would definitely be nice. 
But we're clearly not ready for a fight with her without those defenses. So that's why we just continue to pay tributes for now. And one simple project that we can do. We're going to go simple stone path. Across the front there. Carpenter's workshop. I'm going to move this upstairs into this room. Take this as well, move it up there next to it. Turn this into a research only room. Oh, no, 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 not upstairs. Turn. There you go. Actually, you know what? Let's keep it right there. I wanted it turned. Turn back. There we go. So this is going to be the library. I don't know if I want the library downstairs. To compare what it takes to make those. 20 iron ore, 100 wood. That's actually not bad. 15 wood, that's really easy. Bookshelf, 60 wood. Yeah, none of those are bad. Bookshelf for children. We don't have any kids now, but we might as well add in a bookshelf for children. Alright, so we've already done the medicine cabinet. Okay, there's a workshop. Mason's workshop. Okay. Put this up there as well. Do we have the tailors already? Yes, we do. Or is no problem. 500 coins is hard to come by, but I would love to get a deep stone mine going as soon as possible. The crystal mine at some point too, but that's even more expensive. But we need 500 coins, so we really need to start producing something in large quantities that we can sell and get back the coins out of it. Get the 500 coins that way. Yeah, I think something else that we can move upstairs. Healing potion cabinet. This up here. Michael, level 6 miner. And this is the herbs rack. We'll put this up here next to it. So medical stuff in that quarter. All that stuff's uh, moved around. We'll be all set for a little while. Let's see, what else is there that we could do? Stone bed, child's bed, simple wooden bed, they're all the same in terms of beauty being a level three. Ooh, hello, soil for healing pants. Pants. 
<laughs> Apparently words are escaping me right now. Plants. It's been a, a, a long week. I, I will uh, give myself at least that much of a pass, but uh, strawberries. We should get into that. I don't want to get into wheat yet because that's going to go into brewery. Same with pumpkins. But strawberry is definitely an added thing that we could do. We can definitely do some plants. I have no idea if these are going to be like the cotton and need extra space. In this right level, anyway. So I think we're going to follow the cotton pattern. These healing plants, actually, if we can get those grown this next year, uh, with all the cotton, we can do our own clothing. We can sell clothing once we have enough for everyone. But the healing plants, that's going to have really good trade value. Okay, so our trees have gone into hibernation over the winter. But I think we're still good on the cotton. Looks to be in about the same state. So some of that may grow up. I'm next spring, so I'm excited by that possibility. Alright, we've already been in here, military. Could add in a second training dummy, possibly. Speaking of training dummy, Bridget, yep. you haven't broken yourself, have you? Okay, good. You're just hungry. How is your training coming? Two. <laughs> Two points away. And I'll get to wooden swords. Do I already have everyone equipped with a sword? No. We are still short one sword, and that is Bridget's. Or is it... You know what? That's only six? No, it's seven. Yep. It's Veronica who has nothing. Take ownership. There you go. That is Veronica's, and we don't have the sword made. I thought I queued that up a long time ago. Uh, that Carpenter's Workshop still hasn't been put down, so... Speed things up a little bit. Let's get to that point. There we go. Okay. It's queued up. It's not queued up. <laughs> Gosh. I don't play the game for a week and I forget things. Well, that'll be done soon enough. That soil's getting taken care of. We've already taken care of the withered plants here. Let's see, do we need to place any more of you? No, they're all still good. Got trees all over the place. Those will pop up. Any wood still? No big building projects here. Might need to, let's see, cotton, cotton, what can we do right now? So, ooh, hello. Not enough cotton for anything at the moment. And that's why we're doing the cotton. All right, Mason's workshop. What can you do, Mason? What can you do? Stone sword, stone axe, stone pickaxe. We don't have enough stone for any of those. Who's decided to have a lazy day? It's Veronica, who is, uh... Why? Why are you mad? And you're envious of Michael's room. Isn't Michael's room totally plain? Isn't that Michael's room? Oh, no, this is your room. Okay, uh, let's take care of that. You want an armchair? We can do an armchair. Let's give you an armchair. Da da da, not table. Seating. Armchair. Hello! The pirates have arrived! What, what do you. Mm, okay, I'm getting the pirates now. 
Ah, uh, crap. I have five days to give them 488 coins. Why are the pirates here? I haven't gotten into brewery. I don't have 488 coins, and I'm certainly not going to have 488 coins in five days. Please don't attack me. They're going to attack. They are certain to attack. This is horrible. Chair. Please don't attack. Please. Strained relations. Okay. Brave tread will attack on sight. As will the little people. We have to start trading with these guys like right away so they don't attack us. Bridget, level one soldier. Good. Yep. Uh, beat it with that watering can. Beat that W up. You're beating them up from the wrong, from the side. You're, oh gosh, they're attacking. Uh, let's stop this right there. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Let's see next time if we survive the battle. A little cliffhanger for you. Have a good one. Be safe out there. I'll try to be safe here. Be sure to hit that like button. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.